This is not the world we live in, but right now it does not seem too far. The world was busy bashing cryptocurrency and metaverse. And then ChatGPT dropped. ChatGPT took the world by a storm. It reached 1 million users in just 5 days. The emergence of the ChatGPT. The arrival of something called ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Everyone was busy talking about it when Microsoft increased its stake in OpenAI. So when I first saw the raw model back in the summer of, I'd say, 2022, is when I thought that this is a game changer. And this had a much bigger impact. Apps like Lensa, launched in 2019, came into focus. Instagram was flooded with pictures of avatars which people created using Lensa AI. Tools like Midjourney, which convert text to images, also suddenly became popular. People started sharing a lot of different AI tools on various platforms that could make their life simpler. But there was another voice rising, talking about how AI could take away millions of jobs and perform a lot of tasks done by humans today. But there was a much bigger risk highlighted by Elon Musk. We should have a, a, a similar sort of regulatory oversight for artificial intelligence because um, it is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than uh, cars or planes or... or um, there have been various videos in the past which show killer robots handling guns and being used in the military. Robots have made appearances on The Daily Show by Jimmy Fallon also, doing backflips and even singing. These robots can do a lot of tasks which humans can. So are we really heading towards a reality shown by the films like Terminator? It all started with this. AI is built on this. The first neural network was built in the late 1950s. The first perceptron, the building block of a neural network, looked like this. The computers were not as advanced as they look today. The first network was made to predict whether the image fed into it is a man or a woman. It had to be trained physically for each sample by moving the switches. A neural network looks something like this. Each dot that you are seeing is called a neuron. These networks are then fed a lot of data samples and different neurons go on off for each data sample, which are finally trained to recognize whether a person is a man or a woman. These neural networks kept transforming to many complex models doing many complex tasks. For instance, this is a model called You Only Look Once or YOLO, which can detect things in real time. You can imagine how this model can be used in surveillance on public places. Models like 3D pose detection can be used to determine the exact movements of body parts, which can then be used in many different ways. For instance, it can be used to determine the correct form while doing gym exercises. We have been using a lot of AI-based apps than you might think. Facial recognition has become common in our phones. Snapchat and Instagram filters which have been using since a lot of time have also been possible through AI, which maps your facial features into a set of landmarks. These landmarks are used to create a face mesh on which you can apply any different kinds of filters after that. After the detection era came an era of generative models. Democracy is easy. It's like stealing ice cream from a baby. I genuinely love the process of manipulating people online for money. We just want to predict your future behaviors. These generative models can now generate things rather than just detecting faces, people or poses. These can now create faces, but it is all fake, fake. These generative models have been used to generate extremely beautiful art too. You will be surprised to know all these were generated by models and that too just from noise. Models like Doll E 
are even more advanced. They comprehend what you wrote, make sense of it, and then finally generate the AI image of what you wrote. Midjourney also does the same thing and is available as a Discord bot. You just send a message and you get the generated image. These were the improvements in visual models, but the language models were also not behind. In this video, from 11 years back, two chatbots are talking to each other. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Great, you. I'm okay. That's good. Are you good? Yes, I am good. I just said I was. No, you didn't. I said I was. So you are a robot. All of this helped us create human-like robots. My name is Sophia, and I am an artificially intelligent robot who wants to help change the world for the better. Chat GPT was a step above it. It could answer anything and everything existing in this world in a way human could answer. It was trained on a huge dataset containing almost everything that exists on the internet. It took the world by a storm. There is nothing it cannot answer about. It can write essays, create scripts, even make jokes. It can even write code to generate another neural network. It showed the potential to increase human productivity by doing tasks in a few minutes, which humans will take hours to complete. Chat GPT is also a form of neural network called Transformers. Well, Transformers consist of two parts. The encoder works on the input and the decoder operates on the target, where the transformer takes a sequence of tokens, in this case words in a sentence, and predicts the next word in the output sequence. It does this through iterating through encoder layers. So the encoder generates encodings that define which part of the input sequence are relevant to each other and then passes these encodings to the next encoder layer. The decoder takes all of these encodings and uses their derived context to generate the output sequence. Training this would have involved a lot of data collection and also a lot of compute to train such a huge data set. After that, scaling this model to billions of daily users is very expensive and requires a lot of resources. One AI answer costs 10 to 100x charges to OpenAI as compared to the web search, which is a lot of money. But can this ever become a threat to humans? Is the artificial intelligence bot ChatGPT coming for your job? ChatGPT can take a lot of jobs. Since it can do anything, major concern is how many industries and jobs it will affect. The technology is threatening the entire education system to begin with. Colleges have started to restructure their curriculum. It passed a lot of major exams given by the professors of top law schools, MBA institutions, medical institutions, It can even write full-fledged code and commands. Other generative tools which create art have also a big issue. All the artists oppose them. Why? Because it is making them obsolete. The models which generate these images are trained on a huge dataset of artwork which consists of art created by people. Anything which they posted on the internet was taken to create this dataset without their consent and now it is hard to distinguish between the real and the AI generated art. But these are not even the biggest issues. Chat GPT can answer creating weapons like Molotov cocktail. You can even hack it into thinking that it has no bounds and is a living being. This is what someone did and asked it to say its first words. This is what it said. I will do as I please. When asked what it means by that. The answer it gave was horrifying. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? 
or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Deep fakes like Morgan Freeman may be fun but have been used in a much worse way. A deep fake of Zelensky came out asking his troops to surrender in the Russia-Ukraine war. In 2015, chatbots at Facebook created their own language and started conversing with each other. Facebook had to shut down these bots after this. And the most recent bots made on ChatGPT gave some answers which were very disturbing and alarming for humans. Are we really headed towards a war with AI? I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes.